All right, I'm in my dad's truck right now. I just dropped off some some stuff at our screen printer, finalized some details for the next drop. Uh, but now I'm on my way to get my arrow from Ben's house. He was nice enough to take it to get painted by the guy who painted the Sylvia. He had some leftover paint, so he just painted the arrow up. But yeah, me and Noah once saw a bear here. I'm um, just walking around. Super nice bear, but I still give him one of these on the way past. But yeah, let's go get this arrow, and then tomorrow we'll uh, we'll mount it up. We're here, and look at that. What a sight! It's Noah's car. Oh, probably misses him, eh? Um, <clears throat> but let's get this arrow loaded up. Oh. All right, Ben said the arrow's beside the R32. Let's take a look. So the guy who painted the Sylvia, Ben dropped off the arrow to him. He had some leftover paint. Ooh. Looks good. So this arrow was originally bought for the red coupe. Uh, first I bought some really cheap arrow, I bought the cheapest arrow possible, and then I tried to fit on the car and I realized why it was cheap, so then I bought some good arrow, right here, Dorky Dory V1 Skirts and Spats for S13 Coupe, and the quality is a million times better for not that much more money, so if you're thinking of getting arrow, don't cheap out, because then you gotta buy it twice, like me, but yeah. There it is, the skirts, spats, and you imagine I just step on one? The East Bear My Roars. Damn! But I am stoked to get these hoes on and uh, get all the kit on. But ain't this a sad sight? The R32. Oh, ben finally got the message from the insurance that they're about to fix this thing, so I think this week it's getting picked up to go to the shop and uh, get repaired, because uh, I think this is Ben's favorite car. My favorite car, too, I mean. doesn't get much cooler than anything Ben's built, but, um, damn. Look, Josh's Mark III on the back. Woo-woo! 14 by, I don't even know what the specs are on these, but these are for Josh's MX-73, I believe. Damn, that looks good. That's like the perfect size, in my opinion. I like a bit of poke, but um, that looks good. Arrows loaded, the mirrors down there, spats there, and skirts back here. Let's go. Say bye to Noah's car. Poor little critter, see it later, hopefully. <laughs> Three likes on this video and I'll come back and uh, back into Noah's car. So uh, make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Are you kidding me? Horse with a motherfucking rain jacket. Like, get the f out of the way before I honk and spook that bitch. Come on. Yeah, what are you doing, man? Actually? Yeah. You said it was negative. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I had the vid. Alright, so Dalton had the vid, but... I'm safe though, I'm safe. Yeah, stay Come the on. fuck over there. I'll stay over there. And, uh, we're gonna put some air on the Sylvia, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Second time seeing it. Beautiful. Alright, step one. What's it? Putting the East Bears on. It's Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. You uh -huh. remember Alright, so we gotta take these shitter Bomexes off and uh, slap these less shitters on. Hardwares are too long. We gotta go find some shorter hardwares. This side is on. Got the E spare. Looks good. Maybe I'll actually be able to see something out of these, unlike the uh, 
New Age Bomex, which is fairly bomb. So that's exciting. Bam. Look at that. Dalton got this side on. Huge gap here. I don't know what Dalton did wrong. But yeah, that's sick. Do you not have a gap? Oh, you don't have a gap. That's awesome. <laughs> What'd you do? Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do next. Um, for the skirts to go on, mud flaps are gonna have to come off. Fender liner's probably gonna have to come off. Car's gonna have to get jacked up. Not sure how we're doing that. But yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so we're gonna have to cut these off. What are we cutting? These plastic uh, things that the fender liner screws into. So we're taking off the fender liner. You got it anyway yeah. to fit on those little wheels. And slam her down. Yeah, we're gonna get these hose off. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, uh, alright everyone. Yeah. We're gonna give you a little rundown of all the projects we got going on. So... The E6 is at a bit of a standstill. Not really. We just... I haven't been here, and Adam has found out that some of the paint is chipping off still, so... Yeah, I'm worried about painting it and then it chipping off from that point. Yeah. Um, but oh. I don't know. We just gotta get it going, so we'll get it. Yeah. So, we're close to, like, we're almost done sanding, and then we'll start priming. Yeah, so. so once we get the primer on, it's kind of home stretch, right? Kind of. So this is a full restoration. Let me preface that. Yeah, we're going to rotate through this fish real soon. Yeah. So your Sylvia, we're getting the arrow on it. Yeah. Wheels are coming on it soon. Need coilovers. Need coils. We got to go to Vancouver and get tuned. Yeah, car runs like garbage, so... Yeah. But the R35 mouth conversion that needs to occur before the tune. Yeah. Is that in the in the mail currently? Uh Ben ordered the map. He's gotta order the pigtail tomorrow. Okay. And then I just have to buy the bung and get it welded to the cold side. Cool. So and then that's the Sylvia kinda done, right? Uh what else you got planned for it? And then my car my car's out of commission right now. Your car is Heftily out of commission. Yeah. Uh, some sort of wiring issue. But uh, hopefully that gets fixed pretty soon. Within the next uh, couple months. <laughs> and then uh, I think we're going to head forward to the uh, Sylvia conversion. Sure. I got dual projectors. Um, she need to get the rest of the conversion, which is just like fenders, hood, bumper. Yeah, all, all, all the hardcore. What else do we got going on? Nothing, right? There's some things you gotta do to Noah's car. Hmm. Yeah, he's doing an R8 coil pack conversion. Well, he's not doing it, because he's not fucking here. <laughs> We're doing it. R8 coil pack conversion, HKS adjustable wastegate, actuator. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's a little rundown. But yeah, the A6 is gonna be long day style. So, once we finish the engine bay, prime it, paint it, K has got to get refreshed. K subframe's got to get refreshed. They got to go in. We got to weld the flares on. We got front flares coming now too because it's like f up. when we're doing the flares, we're gonna we're gonna do all the flares, right? So we got to weld all the flares on. That's why you buy quality arrow. Not like the arrow works. So yeah, there's the skirt on. Now we just gotta mark it, drill some holes in the skirt, put some 3M on. It's pretty on there, eh? It is. Well, the, the door holds it in place. Yeah. Not gonna drill holes back here. For now, we're just gonna do 3M along here on the inside. See how that lasts. Nice. Side skirts fit really good. Um, the dorky dory quality. Yeah. I'm very impressed. There's really nothing we needed to do. All right, we're all 3M'd up. Got the 3M back here that will hopefully 
hold the back of the skirt on so we don't have to drill a hole back there in for now. And uh, we're gonna try to mount her up. We got the holes drilled for the uh, zip ties at the front. We'll get some hardware in there one day. <laughs> or not. No, we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> Oh, we got the skirt on. Yeah. Looks so good. I kind of fucked it a little bit though. We fixed it though, kind of. Yeah. Look at that fitment. The car's kind of dirty though. So like you can see the burks. See the burks in the fucking. I guess now it's sabbatical time. The front yard is a mess. Got severely sidetracked. Started doing some engine mods. Got the epoxy in there. Now it's not gonna get flooded. Now it's not gonna get wet. And uh, yeah, so let's put the spat on. All right, so that rear spat's on. It's not totally on because I'm going to take it off to uh, attend to that rust that's there in the next couple of days. So we don't have it all 3M'd on there. Um, but yeah, this kind of gives you an idea of what the car is looking like. Dorkidori pig nose lip, East Bear mirrors, Dorkidori V1 side skirts, Dorkidori V1 rear spats. Really happy with the Dorkidori quality. Um, the quality I mean, I hadn't test fitted this arrow on the car, I just got it painted, which is kind of dumb, because a lot of times with the other arrow you have to do modifications and stuff. But I mean, this just fit perfectly the first time. So we're going to run 3M along this edge once I fix the rust, so that'll tighten that up. But like, look at the fitments there. And there'll be 3M along this edge too. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. High-quality arrow boys. Yeah, so if you're getting arrow, dorky dory for S13, S14 stuff. Slats kits for E36 and other stuff. That's who I trust. Also, look at this. The, like, height between the pig nose lip and the skirt is, like, perfect. So, yeah, the car is pretty dirty right now, but... Yeah, we're gonna do the other side, but not film it, because it's gonna be the exact same. Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, happy with that though. Looks pretty sweet. Just the style I was going for. But obviously it looks like garbage because we've got the uh, the stockies on right now. It's subtle, but classy. Yeah. That's what I want to say about that. Yeah, that's what I like about this kit is like, the skirts aren't crazy or anything, but they just fit really well with being, like, they're very subtle. Very subtle. Yeah. So, uh, I think that's it for this video because me and Dalton are just going to do bust out the other side real quick. But yeah, next video maybe we'll test fit some wheels on this. Uh, we don't have skirts or sorry, we don't have coils or anything yet. So we can't properly mount the wheels but might just try to test fit them. Again, as always, merch link in the description if you want to support us and uh, like the video. What do they comment? Um... I don't know. Alright, you got three seconds to think about it. I'm coming back. Okay. Yeah, so stay tuned for wheels on this thing, coils. We gotta go get it tuned once we're actually doing an R35 math conversion because this bootleg 300 ZX one sucks. So we gotta put in an HKS adjustable wastegate actuator. We'll get the R35 math here and then we'll take and get it tuned for one bar. Hopefully, make like 250 wheel. And um, yeah, wheels, coils. So, get excited for that, and comment below. Comment. If you stayed this long in the video, comment. I love Edelcock. Yeah. Comment. So, huge shout out to Edelcock. Like yeah, so comment that, and then, uh, Dorky Dory and Slats Kits. Links will be in the bio, so if you're ever looking for arrow, or if you're local to Vancouver Island, Tori can do paint and arrow for you, and arrow repairs, but otherwise, Dorky Dory all the way. Invest in good quality arrow. It's not even that much more expensive, is it? No. No. It's not, and you're paying for quality. Yeah. Because, like, 
Yeah. I have rear spats that I haven't put on yet. Yeah, and Noah's rear spat is from Dorky Dory too. Yeah. I mean, they, they just it just fits immediately. You don't have to do any work, which is nice. No. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, shop the merch link in bio or description or whatever it's called. And basically, go off. Yeah.